Hey, I'm Lauren White and welcome to 2020. Woohoo! I was wondering if we could talk about setting some libido and intimacy intentions for this year. My spidey sense says that if you set some intentions, then you're probably more likely to see some actual outcomes and some improvement in how you feel about sex, intimacy and what happens in the bedroom. At least that's my experience of it. When I get clear about what feelings I want to feel, then I can make a really good plan around what actions I can take to move through inhibition and to get some old habits out of the way. So I thought I'd start by sharing with you what some of my intimacy, libido and sex intentions are for this year. You ready? Take a deep breath. So the first thing that's coming up is I really want to focus quite intently on my relationship. I'm in a very long term relationship and it came to the fore last year that we really needed to put some more TLC into our connection and our time together as two people that love their work and have two young children. We're like, something's got to change, something's got to shift. So we're booked in for a retreat that we're attending as individuals in April and I cannot wait, it cannot come soon enough. I've really been, I'm really selective and I'm really discerning about who I work with as a client and when this opportunity came up to attend this retreat, I just, it had my full yes. And I'm going to be learning from one of my long-term teachers, who doesn't know she's my teacher, but she will soon, because I'm going to fangirl on her, um, learning from the wonderful Betty Martin. And she's done lots of work around consent that flows throughout my work here. Um, so we're going on a retreat together to learn as individuals. So we're not going as, on a couple's retreat, but we're going on a retreat together as individuals to look at our own shit and move through some old stuff and have that shared experience so that it's not just me going and learning and Eddie learning through me, although that's very powerful in itself. The other intention I have for my libido this year is to move out of habit with some of my own self-pleasure practice. I know what to do and I can do it really quick, um, but I feel like, and I feel like, I've kind of let some of that slide and just kind of moved into habit and not been very explorative or curious about what else is possible. So I have a, I have guidelines for a self-pleasure practice that I share with excuse me that I share with my clients and I share in permission actually and I think it's time for me to really strip everything back and go back to the bare bones of that of slowing things down and um, getting more curious maybe playing with some more sensations and bring in some other little tools and moving in some new ways I think it'll be really powerful for me to just shake things up because I do know what to do so I just fall into habit I know how to and I had to experience orgasm so I go there <laughs> um, but it's time for me to just go back to being a student again of my own pleasure and that feels really good another thing I'm doing for my libido is um, not drinking alcohol I've been alcohol free for three months and I'm actually looking at doing a year plus um, it's been life changing and my nervous system is in a very different state. I'm more present. I'm happier. I get to see lots of my progress, um, feel lots of my progress in terms of my health and my ability to be present in my relationship and my family and with my work. And ultimately what's happened is my nervous system has really dropped to this really deep space that I've been craving and simultaneously avoiding for a very long time, for a long time. And that's allowing me to really feel lots of sensations, to have erotic dreams on the second day of my cycle, the third day, to, um, yeah, be a little bit more mm, fantasies and all the rest of it. So that's amplified for me and I want to keep that thread going. One of my words this year is clear. 
um, and clear feeling sober just feels really beautiful like it feels like it's going to actually allow me to feel that feeling that I want to feel so much so I already started in October last year I didn't want to start on January 1st I'm going to keep going and if you've toyed with the idea I strongly recommend that you give it a go and over the coming months I'm going to share some more um, specific ideas around how to actually do that and not just say just don't drink or just don't do this because that really simplifies it. Um, yeah, so there are a couple of things that I'm doing for my libido this year. I've got a lot of creative juices swirling and I'm just I'm just listening and I'm not this year is really about being responsive rather than reactive because I've historically I've been very reactive because my nervous system has been in a heightened state. Um, this year it's like, no, I'm just focusing on, really focusing on what I'm good at, which is one-to-one. -one. I excel in that arena, so I'm going to give it my all in um, a few different offerings. And I have I have my one-to-one -one sessions ongoing that's not going anywhere. And I've since added mentoring as well for women in business. So, yeah, my libido is getting really clear. I'm taking everything so seriously and being serious is allowing me to be really playful and fun with it and have a lot of fun with everything and I'm laughing more and I'm crying less and I'm still feeling everything but I'm just it's all in its maturity and it feels really beautiful. So over to you now. Can you share with me what some of your libido goals are for this year? Um, do you want to be less reactive and more responsive? Do you want to stop um, going into fetal position when your partner propositions. Do you want to change how all of that plays out? Is that on a loop? Do you want to explore yourself more? Do you want to start to get to know your orgasmic potential? What do you want? Just start with one thing that you might want. In fact, start with the feeling first and then the actions can follow. But just find, try and think of, fill into one feeling that you want when it comes to sex, intimacy and your libido. And if you need any help, then let me know and we can try and fine tune how that feeling could turn into some actions for you. One of the ones obviously being, if you're a woman, to work with me because fuck the light bulbs that go off in that and the accountability. Oh, it's so sexy. It's so sexy. Anyway, let me know. Take some action and your libido will be thanking you. And a year from now, it'll be going, thank God you took that action. Thank God you did that thing. Thank God you listened and tuned in and changed the trajectory of your life. Your libido will thank you. <laughs>